Hey guys, it's me, Callie. This is actually the most I've posted in a while. So, so if you can't tell by the title, this is going to be about my worst Zamboni job experience. And I've worked at two places. And if you want, I can put a video on my how I got my job and how it's like as that as a girl because it's a lot different. <laughs> and being a girl with so many guys in the field it's really weird so i'll make a video and go into that at one point but this is about the job that i literally had to quit because it was not working out well and so i go to school in colorado and i'm not going to name the place i'd worked at because what my opinion is what happened on my side their, their side might be different i don't know if They'll even see this, so I'm working there and I got the job as a Zamboni driver and the, they're like, okay, you're going to get training, it's going to be 950, so here, that's what you're going to be paid until you're fully trained. And so it took me maybe a couple weeks to get trained on all their stuff and like a lot of the things were broken so I had to adjust to that because I come from an ice rink in Chicago where we had a lot of stuff that was working pretty decently and so... I got trained and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm probably going to be making the $10 now, I'll be fine, like, it's whatever. And so I'm doing that and I wasn't doing the math of my paychecks and this is a lot later. When I finally, I think towards the end I realized I was actually never getting the $10 because they always said I was on training, which didn't make sense because I had my own shifts to the point where there would be no one else there working a Zamboni job. But it worked out in the end. But what got to the point where I actually almost was completely done with the place was when I get a text message saying, hey, we can't let you do closing shifts due to your safety, which they had not said that to anyone else, any of the other Zam people. And it was to the point where I felt like they were literally telling me that I'm a girl, I can't do that stuff. So I go talk to them, they're like, oh, since you're a girl, we can't let you do this stuff because it's due to your own safety, but I had an experience at other places because I told them, okay, I can only do closing shifts. I, I go to class, I can only do night shifts, no mornings, no middle of day, night. So I would do closing and I know how to do it perfectly fine. So I literally was limited on my hours. I couldn't do anything. I wasn't even getting paid fully. So... It was to the point where I didn't even know what to do. And so I found out through my parents that you could actually put in a complaint through the EEOC. And I'll put a link down below if like that applies to you somehow. They'll help you with disabilities and like if gender inequality or anything. And like it's it is against the law to discriminate against someone's gender. I literally just in business law class, it's the reason why I'm making this video, is to at least put to light that people can go in, go to people and say, hey, this job is telling me I can't do this because I, of my gender or because they don't think I'm able enough. And when I was talking to my professor today about it, they she said that it's against the law and that you can go talk to people, which I ended up doing, but I dropped it because it got to a point where... I felt every time I would go into work, I felt like they were kind of just looking down on me and like they wouldn't give me the hours still and I was literally just there. So I ended up quitting when I came back after the summer. I did not want to work there. It was to the point I could, if I worked there, I would have been doing the same thing, getting frustrated with them. So I just got to a point where... I don't know, I just kind of gave up with them. And where I'm sitting around, and they knew I was upset about not being able to have my hours because I relied on these for or just jobs and everything. And it's really difficult to get a job at a Zamboni place when you're out of state because either I've there was another place I, I applied to and they wouldn't let me work there because I didn't have the right license, which I had a Illinois state license and they wanted a Colorado state license due to insurance policies, which I can understand. I'm not going to complain about it. That's just how they run their business. And then another place just wasn't able to contact me and I still haven't heard back, but I'll probably contact them eventually to hear from them. 
but it's this place where I had the job and I worked for a whole entire year long like school year so it was from August all the way to May and the whole entire time they told me I was on training and then the entire that entire time it got to a point where they they would be like oh sorry we can't give you your pay because we didn't think you were supposed to be working this late you're not supposed to be doing this and I'll go into other videos how it is working at an ice rink because it can get to a point where it is a stressful job but it's not a job where you're gonna need to have like masculine tendencies like sure you have to lift things but it's not going to be out of a female's like ability because there are people in like the military who are females and as my professor made the comment they can be scary and there can be weak men it's not like men can't get harassed by other men at ice rinks girls can get harassed by men at other ice rinks i've worked at ones where I know how to deal with these situations so it's to the point where I just want to make sure I get this out here because it after I dropped my case I couldn't really sit say anything about it I'm not legally bound to keep in my story so I thought I might as well get this out and make sure that anyone who has dealt with this situation can deal with it and I don't feel like I'm holding people back so I'll make sure I link the EEOC website below so anyone who needs it can go to it. I think I've already made that comment but it's just one of those things where you kind of just have to deal with it and even though you know you're going to be going into work and they're going to look at you like oh we got this letter saying that you're upset with us and the thing is they asked me why I didn't come talk to them and I knew that if I went and talked to them they would have gave me reason after reason why they don't think this and that and it got to a point where I just literally could not deal with it they literally would just tell me the same thing over and over they'd be like oh we're here to give you a learning ability of like this is how you run a business and I just could not deal with it and I will not name names I'm not trying to slander them this is my story this is how it happened to me and if their side of the story is completely different, then that's their side. I'm not trying to make their business seem bad. I'm not even going to mention it. If you know me, you'll know who what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to mention any names here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more, then like it, comment. If you want certain things, just let me know. And you can subscribe because I'll talk about other things.